Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and update you guys with the progress of the Magic Finder. Um, we're still not done building the character. I have about 50 rarity and like 30 to 40 quantity to still acquire. Uh, but just to keep you guys updated with what's changed since the previous gearing, I did spend about 6 to 7 exalts on a Ventor's Gamble. Uh, I also went out of my way to pick up a Legacy Divination Distillate. Um, and then I think I have like two rarity jewels, a rarity jewel located here, and I believe another rarity jewel located here. Now, the future goals to acquire would be essentially crafting a essence crafted helmet with, I believe it's called Horror, which is, it's essentially the same exact thing that you would craft on the gloves, uh, except this is more elemental damage. And that, that would allow us to use unique gloves like Orsi's, which would give us 50% rarity. And then the last goal would be dropping um, increased AoE, which you could see would be... Well, actually, let me move because it's weird. But it would just be dropping increased area of effect um, for item quantity. But I keep spending my currency. I've spent like 600 a day crafting, uh, 600 C a day, so that doesn't unfortunately get to build up. But, you know, we'll get some good stuff. But yeah, this is what uh, it would look like with item quantity instead of ink AoE. So our current statistics or stats for it would be... All right, we're 78 quantity and 229 rarity for right now. So let's get that going. Let me show you guys how it works out again in a strand. Now I was testing it out in Double Beyond Shores, but uh, I want a little bit more magic find before I start magic finding shores. Now this is going to be a monster life, uh, monster life elemental resistance map. So this is actually going to have a bit of, uh, I guess it's going to be a bit slower than what I'm normally used to clearing. And then I'm using a Bright Beak. I don't know if I was using a Bright Beak in the previous video. Just for some, a little bit of extra speed. Now, the only like real important thing to note about this, so like to get this character going, uh, we use a Shav's Revelation, and it doesn't need to be Legacy, but the purpose of Shav's Revelation is when the ring is used in the right slot, which would be here, you regen anywhere from 3 to 4% maximum energy shield per second. Now, the reason why it has to be in the right slot and not the left is because if it's in the left slot, it, it basically does the opposite but with, uh, but with mana. And you can see it right here. You can see what it does. So because this stops our mana from regenerating, it allows us to basically use a Divination Distillate, which is a hybrid flask, which heals a very small amount of mana, uh, and allows us to keep up the magic find at all times from the flask, which is pretty cool. Now, I know you guys won't really see much shit dropping. That's because, uh, obviously, you know, loot filters cancel out majority of stuff. So when it comes to the breach and the bosses, I will uh, just toggle the loot filter to show you exactly how much shit we're getting that's being filtered out. Why is this so laggy? There's... Okay, okay. What the fuck is this? Oh... One other thing I'd like to mention is this character does sit on 90 plus all res, and if I were to use a Prism Guardian or a Legacy Prism Guardian, it doesn't even matter which one, uh, I could acquire 100 all res, which I can show you guys towards the end of the video unless I forget, which could totally be an option. Alright, so we need to remove some of this, um, uh, fuck, I'm just gonna stand right here. Screw this shrine, get off. Alright, so I'm gonna hit all- this is all the stuff we actually found in this one little spot here. Now, of course, if you wanted to just generate ridiculous currency or play a crazy magic finder, you could always play things like Vol Spark, Vol Fireball that have, you know, ridiculous clear speed. The difference is, when you play something like this, and this is why I prefer it, uh, if I want to go do Uber Lab, I can just pull out a few points, like five points on the tree. Actually, I don't even need to. I can literally just go in, switch my gear, and go do Uber Lab. If I want to go do Shaper, I just swap my gear and a few nodes on the tree, and I can go do Shaper. Uber at Zuri, same thing. Uh, if I want to do endgame maps, uh, I just remove my Magic Find gear. It's not like I have to change an entire build, which is kind of like why I like this Low Life Righteous Fire character, is because it can do a little bit of everything, um, and it can do it pretty efficiently as well.
Come on, breach. I hope we get like a decent one. I've been making roughly, I want to say, 400c off drops in about six hours of mapping in strands. Um, that's not like an accurate number. That's kind of just off the top of my head. Um, it shouldn't be less than that, really. Uh, and that's not including like a ridiculous GG drop. That's just like average here. If I get like a good drop, it'll be like six to seven hundred, maybe even eight hundred. I think this is kind of a bad spot for it, but let's see what we get here. Now, with this Magic Finder, you can run pretty much any map mod. The only ones I'd recommend staying away from, and again, you can run them if you choose to, would be like 60% regeneration map, or 60% reduced regeneration maps. Um, and then Vuln plus minus max is can be kind of scary. You can still run it, though, because you have ridiculous all resist on the build. Uniques do drop like candy, which is pretty cool because anytime you find like a good breach, um, I wouldn't say there's like a good chance, but maybe you'll have like a 5 to 10% chance of finding uh, like a specific unique of that breach itself. Like we found uh, Choir of the Storm yesterday, so that was like 30C, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty happy about that. And the six sockets are just fucking all over the place. You get a minimum of like, I want to say two to five six sockets per... Um, I sell maybe like 800 jewelers a day and they just keep they just keep kind of bulking up there no matter what I do I cannot get rid of the jeweler orbs and this would be a nice little density pile from this breach interestingly enough I have not found anything really off the bosses yet um, I like I don't know most of my most of my stuff I would say has been found off breaches in terms of like uh, income since magic finding not running breach lords, but actually just doing the breaches inside maps. Oh, actually, I popped Vol Discipline way too early here, because these are going to be like retarded tanky. Because it's like fucking. Let me just do this. I don't almost, I like literally never need to use a portal, but just because I want to make sure I get my magic find bonus here, I'm gonna just confirm. Okay. And that would be the boss drop. So this alone is like, I don't know, 40 alterations, maybe more than 40 alterations if you really want to like, you know, if you're just having a, I don't know, if you don't really like mapping, you like more identifying your loot, here you go. It's literally all here. If you want to count the rares, I don't fucking know. It's probably like 50 or 60 rares just chilling in there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the rundown of the Magic Finder. It's pretty solid. Uh, the only thing you would really die to is like extreme amounts of physical damage. Since I am not running a Basalt, I run a, a, uh, a Silver Flask instead. Um, and also note that usually my maps are much quicker than that, but I wanted to show you guys a demonstration with actual like... Uh, tanky damage mods because obviously this build doesn't have an issue receiving damage. It's more of dealing damage uh, And that was with like 40% elemental resistance on top of uh, I don't know, remember what monster life So to show you guys the other swap in uh, Let me just pull out. Let's see. Where is my prism guardian? All right, sorry Saffle's frame plus flasks, so I'm just gonna literally just put on one of each flask and I'm gonna show you guys my Ellie Res. So this is not with a shrine, this is literally just how my character is. So this is 102 Fire Res, 102 Cold, 102 Lightning, and of course, if you're mapping, you can keep that on at all times. Like, that's really not that hard to keep on at all times. They each last, what, five to six seconds? So yeah, that's pretty much the character. If you guys have any ideas you wanna try out, um, you know, feel free to use this as a template. But anyway, I'm out for now. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you boys enjoyed yourself. Shout out to Gambling2222 for following on Twitch while I'm making a YouTube video. But anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Remember, if you did enjoy the content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day, wasting all my currency at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.